Stephanie here and I'm back with more movie chatter and what I have for you today is an updated overview of my Criterion Blu-ray collection. Uh, there's going to be the 50% off sale coming up at Barnes & Noble in July which sounds far away but it's right around the corner about a month and a half away so I figured this would be a good time for me to show you my collection and maybe you guys can find a few titles that you want to add to your shopping list. And if there's any titles that I touch on today that you want me to review in my upcoming Criterion segment, please let me know down in the comments. I'm happy to do it. And before I get going with the today's video, which is going to be part one, I'm just going to do the bookcase on the left-hand side because I don't want this to run crazy long. Um, I just want to give a special shout out to a new channel. It's called Hey, Isn't That Devon Graham? And if you don't understand the reference, you will when you see his intro, but go over and check him out. Give him a sub. Tell him hello. He does a great job. He's got a great horror collection. He shows off his vinyl collection. He's got some cool NECA figures, and he's a really good guy, and he's really good at interacting with his community and making everyone feel welcome. So I think you'll really like what he has to offer. So yeah, definitely check him out. I'm going to link him in the video description down below. So with that being said, I am just going to get right into it and I'm going to start with the box sets. Okay, and my first box set is spine number 679, the Zatoichi Blind Swordsman. I'm trying to read that upside down. <laughs> anyway, he is a blind, uh, like a blind samurai and it's a 25 film collection. It is a beautiful, beautiful set. As you can see, it is beautifully decorated with Japanese art and it makes for a beautiful display piece. Who knows if I'm holding it upside down, but it, it, there's people all over the place on this box. Anyway, it comes with a hardcover book and it comes with the 25 film collection. So you definitely can't go wrong with this. I, I think this might be out of print, the actual box set. I'm not sure, but you might still be able to pick pick them up. This is about a $200 set, so you can get it for about $100 um, at the Barnes & Noble sale. So that's my first box set. And the next one is spine number 729, the complete Jacques Tati. And I am just a huge fan of uh, Jacques Tati and his work. Here are the films that are in the box set. So if you want to pause that and check them out. I did do a short uh, mini review on Playtime because that is just, oh, that's just so funny. It's such a blast. Here's the special edition features if you want to pause that and take a look at what's in the, in the set. But yeah, this is a really great set. So if you're a fan, I highly recommend it. Even if you're not a fan, take on something new and you, you'll, you'll probably have a really good time with it. The next one is spine number 930, Dietrich and von Sternberg in Hollywood. And there you go. Boom all the films that are in this box set. And it's a really nice looking box set, great films and uh, really good stuff there. And here again, you can pause it and see what is in the special edition features. And then this last one, I don't know if it constitutes a box set, but I put it in here because it's nine hours long. Um, spine number 663, Showa. And this is a monumental documentary about the Holocaust and it I found it to be moving like nothing I have ever seen it is exhaustive it is wonderful it is horrific and everything in between I just I highly highly recommend it so Shoah that's my last one so we're going to get right into the first shelf here and if you are not familiar with the Criterion Collection they are organized by spine number so these will not be in alphabetical order I keep them in um, order of spine number. First one is Seven Samurai. Next one is The Lady Vanishes. Amarcord. The 400 Blows. I really enjoy this one. Beauty and the Beast, A Night to Remember, this one's about the Titanic, Seventh Seal, a classic from Ingmar Bergman, The Silence of the Lambs, and they did such a great job with this release. Uh, it looks amazing, it sounds great, it's never looked better. They have a ton of special features on it, it's just a really, really great release. So if you're a fan, definitely put it on your list. Uh, Sid and Nancy. Another one from Akira Kurosawa, High and Low. 
And this is a newer um, one for me. Uh, people were kind of surprised that I didn't have this in my collection. And I don't know why I didn't, but I, I really enjoyed it once I saw it. M. Diabolique. Some of you may have seen the American remake, but I, I really prefer this, the original here. The Wages of Fear. Really, really good stuff. Time Bandits. This one's newer for me. Recent pickup. I haven't watched it yet. Lord of the Flies. I did a mini review in my last Criterion segment, and some of you suggested, I, cause, because I really, I really, really enjoyed this one, um, you suggested that I check out the remake, and I did, and I did like it, but I still prefer the original. So, let me know in the comments which one you like better. And the Red Shoes. I just recently watched this one, so this one will show up in my, probably in my next Criterion uh, little segment, but I really enjoyed it. The next one is Yojimbo and Senjuro. I'm trying to read these at the same time as hold the camera still, so I apologize. Autumn Sonata, another one from Ingmar Bergman. Uh, the Passion of Joan of Arc. This is a silent film, but it also gives you the option. You can watch it as a silent film. You can also watch it with piano music or with chanting. And I recently showed it to a friend who had never seen it before, and we opted for the chanting, which really, really added to the whole, the whole atmosphere. But if you're not familiar with Joan of Arc, the story of Joan of Arc, this takes place during her trial, and they do give you some subtitles, so you, you'll be able to follow along and know what's going on. But fantastic performance, and uh, it's just really, really moving. So definitely one that I would highly recommend. Uh, Carnival of Souls. Rushmore, good one, and I, I just, I love this one, Good Morning, it's so much fun, I, I just, I'm in love with the little guy, the little brother there, he's, this little guy, so much fun, this is a really, really good movie, Brian De Palma's Sisters, and I hope I say this next one correctly, Quandane, Quandan, correct me, tell me in the uh, comments, uh, I haven't watched this one yet, but I hear it's a really, really great ghost story. And then the last one on this shelf is the original The Blob. All right, so we're going to head to shelf two and keep this rolling. Okay, here we are at shelf two, starting off with Black Narcissus. Excellent film if you haven't seen it. My Man Godfrey. This is a good one. It's, a, it's kind of a light comedy. Hidden Fortress. Very influential film for a lot of uh, modern-day filmmakers. Vanishing. The Vanishing, I'm sorry. Some of you may have seen the American remake starring Kiefer Sutherland and uh, Sandra Bullock, but uh, this is really, really good. I think they're both good. Uh, the American remake gets a lot of unnecessary hate, I think, but uh, this is excellent. So if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. Uh, Rebecca. Rashomon. Did a little mini review on that at some point, too. Uh, another Ingmar Bergman that I really like, Wild Strawberries. Eight and a half. A beautiful film, In the Mood for Love. Gorgeous film. Traffic. The Royal Tenenbaums. This is a lot of fun, too. Monterey Pop. This is all about the concert. If you're not familiar with the Monterey concert, Monterey Pop concert, it shows, uh, let's see if I can zoom in here. Um, there you go, some of the performers. But if you're interested in music, this is a, it's a lot of fun. This one's a lot of fun. It's kind of like, like got that Woodstock vibe. So if you like that, you'll enjoy that one. The Life and Death of Colonel Blimp. Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. <clears throat> Sorry, allergies, guys. Uh, Straw Dogs with Dustin Hoffman. And I did watch this one, and then I watched the American remake. And I prefer the original, but I didn't think the American remake was as bad as people make it out to be. I think the problem was, if the original never existed, if the American remake, had, if it had just been a standalone film and it was not a remake, it wouldn't have been... I don't think it would have been so poorly received. It wasn't horrible. It just didn't hold up to this one, in my opinion. But, you know, that's just my opinion. What do I know? <laughs> Next one, Throne of Blood. 
Another really good one. I did a review on that one. Tokyo Story. Beautiful movie. This next one's a little, it's a lot depressing, actually. Akiru from Akira Kurosawa. A uh, gentleman is dealing with the uh, his own mortality. So, a lot to be learned from that one. Videodrome from David Cronenberg. Slacker, Richard Linklater's Slacker. It's a really, really fun movie. Fat Girl. Different kind of movie. Uh, one of my top ten favorites in the collection, Eyes Without a Face. Super creepy movie. Really, really good, though. Next one, Fanny and Alexander. My Own Private Idaho. And the last one on this shelf is Jules and Jim. Another one that I really like. Okay, go to the third shelf. Okay, let's move on to shelf number three. Really good sports documentary. Hoop Dreams. Excellent, excellent documentary. Heaven Can Wait. Balthazar. I can't pronounce the first part of that. Uh, Life Aquatic, Wes Anderson. Harakira, really good film. Naked, this is a rough one to watch. Definitely uh, different. Young Mr. Lincoln, enjoyed that one. The Virgin Spring, which kind of inspired the uh, Last House on the Left. If you read the essay book, it'll explain that. Late Spring. Absolutely love this film. Really, really beautiful film. Elevator to the Gallows. And this one has some of the best packaging for a standalone that I've seen in the collection, Dazed and Confused. Love that one. Yee Yee. Excellent film. Another great one, classic, Bicycle Thieves. And this one I just recently picked up. Uh, my friend um, Nathan Jones suggested it. La Haine. Looking forward to watching that one. Ace in the Hole. And unfortunately, I hear this packaging is not uh, available anymore because this is really, uh, it's really put together nice. It's in a slip box fashion, but... Unfortunately, they've just gone to like the regular snap case. Uh, this one is Ivan's Childhood. Sorry, I couldn't read that. Breathless. Days of Heaven. The Naked Prey. Oof, that's a rough one. Good, though. Really good. This one's excellent. The Ice Storm by Ang Lee. Oh, this one's turned the wrong way. The Last Emperor. Really, really good one. Mishima. A Life in Four Chapters. Look at that. Beautiful. This I'm going to take it right out. It's a beautiful, beautiful edition. Really nice. And there's the back. Okay. An Autumn Afternoon. Now I've heard this called Vampire and Vampire. You tell me. But anyway, it's a vampire film. Bottle Rocket. Another one from Wes Anderson. A lot of fun. And the last one on this shelf, My Dinner with Andre. Okay, let's head to shelf four and wrap this one up. Okay, so here I am on the bottom shelf, so you know what that means. I am on the floor. <laughs> My least favorite place to be. Okay, let's get going with this one. Uh, first one is Repulsion. Now, I am going to mangle this, so I'm just going to say Gene Dillman, and you can read the rest of that for yourself, but this is an amazing, amazing movie. It's long, but it's it's well worth it. 
Paris, Texas, another good one. I'm gonna attempt to say this, Vavir Seville. Really good film. Love this one, Ride with the Devil. Really good. Stagecoach. Crumb, and I have talked about this. It is a documentary about uh, the artist Crumb. And he did some drawings that people found offensive and he really totally, his whole life was lived outside the lines, but really, really good, really insightful. And they go right in and talk to his family and they're a little, little off center as well, but really, really interesting and informative and really honest documentary. Really highly recommend this one, Crumb. It's really good. The Thin Red Line. The Magician, Michael Douglas, uh, Kirk Douglas in Pass of Glory, excellent film. Crazy, crazy Japanese horror movie, House. It is a lot of fun and it is wacky. The Darjeeling Limited. The Night of the Hunter. I recently also did a little review on this one. Creepy, very creepy. Uh, Charlie Chaplin, Modern Times. Have to have some Chaplin. Guillermo del Toro's Kronos. Broadcast News. The Times of Harvey Milk, another documentary that I highly, highly recommend. Harvey Milk was just an amazing, amazing man. Blowout. Something Wild. It's fun. Another Charlie Chaplin. This one is a talkie. He actually speaks in this one. The Great Dictator. Excellent, excellent film. He actually took on Hitler before the world knew that Hitler was a problem. So it's a really groundbreaking film. The Killing. Kiss Me Deadly. And this one could have probably been in the box set section of uh, the three colors, blue, white, and red. This one's an absolute classic, 12 Angry Men. If you haven't seen this one, I highly recommend it. Really, really good one about the, uh, the realities of what goes on inside a jury room in 1957. Godzilla, good one to watch if you're getting ready to watch the new Godzilla that's coming out. And the last one in this bookcase is Three Outlaw Samurai. I like this one. It's a good one. Okay, so that wraps up bookcase number one. As you can see, we'll pan back over the shelves. Okay, so that's the first bookcase, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. I enjoyed doing it for you. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, leave me some comments, suggest some films you'd like to see reviewed. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you know when I upload my videos. And I'm going to come back with part two probably in a day or so, and then I'm going to take a break from the collection videos because I want to sit down and talk with you guys about some movies that I've been watching because I'm, I'm really kind of missing doing that. I, I feel like sitting down and talking about movies. So we'll get to that after we finish the Criterions. And that's going to do it for me today. I hope all the moms out there have a wonderful Mother's Day. And for today, that's a wrap.